Hi everyone, this is Tyler from ORATS, and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about our paper trading platform. This includes how to find trades in the option scanner, how to send orders through the trade sidebar, how to manage working and filled orders in the positions tab, and finally how to monitor exit alerts and trade performance. Let's start with a blank slate in the positions table and head over to the option scanner to find a trade. We can either start from scratch or choose from one of the templates to help us get started quickly. This one scans for a short call spread on SPY expiring in one week with target deltas and spread yield. If we click on the first result, it pops open the trade sidebar, which shows us a bunch of useful information about this trade along with a payoff diagram. Before we dive into the trade sidebar, let's look at another good way to find trades. We can head to the backtester to browse millions of already completed professional backtests and then use the filters to find which ones suit our investment objective. For example, if we wanted to find a short call spread on SPY, we could just choose that strategy in the dropdown, set our rank, and it will filter through over 5 million short call spread backtests. Clicking on a backtest pulls up the trade details, and from here, we can scan for options with the same entry criteria as the backtester. Let's click on the first result to pull up the trade sidebar again. Now let's go over each of these components. First we have the trade details, where you can see each leg of the trade broken down into its expiry, strike, type, and price. The summary of the cost of the trade is shown below. Here you can edit the quantity, limit price, and order type. Directly below that you can see the ORAT's profit attribution, which is our proprietary calculation designed to show you how different Greeks and other factors contribute to the change in price over the last day. This is super useful when you're wondering why the price increased or decreased more than you thought it should. In this trade, Delta and Theta contributed the most positively to the price, while Vega contributed the most negatively. You can see this more clearly in the Trade History tab, which shows the intraday historical price movement of the trade. The trade closed at $2.46 the previous day and then climbed back up to its current price of $1.76. Next we have exit alerts. You can add exit alerts to your potential trade here or add them to a position later on. There are five types of exit alerts that cover many different use cases. For this trade, let's add a stop loss of 50%, which we can do by clicking trade alert and then setting the profit and loss percent to below 0.5. After we're done with setting our limit price and exit alerts, we can submit the order to the paper trader. But before we do that, let's look at the payoff diagram, which features several metrics that can help us make a more informed trade. I like to look at the probability of profit metric, which measures the likelihood of this trade expiring in the money. The three theoretical values, distribution, forecast, and smoothed edge, are calculated by ORATS and measure how we think the mid price of the trade is over or undervalued based on several different proprietary forecasts. Green values are positive signs for the trader. Below the payoff diagram, you can see how the delta, gamma, theta, and vega are expected to change with the stock price. Before we send this trade, I want to show you one more thing. You can view a visual representation of this trade in the trade builder, where you can see how the individual legs stack up against the 68% and 95% implied volatility range. If you decide to change one of the legs, you can simply drag it to a different expiration or strike. Let's move the short leg down one strike. Now we're ready to send this order. Just click Review Order and then Confirm and Send, and you'll see it under your Working Orders in the Positions tab. From here, you can cancel or replace the order by clicking on it. If we navigate to the Exit Alerts tab, we can see that the status is waiting for the order to be filled. Once the order has been filled, you can track the profit and loss as well as the Greeks and theoretical values, as well as the profit attribution. You can pull up your trade just by clicking the checkbox next to it, where you can now roll or close your position. Our advanced payoff diagram shows you how your rolled order will change your profit potential, and you can narrow down the effects of each trade by clicking the eye icon. That sums up a quick overview of how to find, send, and manage your positions in the ORATS dashboard. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment or email support at orats.com.